Food for Plants and Animals Part 1 Food for Plants Photosynthetic Plants Green plants make their own food by a process called photosynthesis. Hence, plants are called producers or autotrophs. Photosynthesis takes place in the green leaves of plants. Thus, leaves are called kitchens or food factories of the plants. Leaves of a plant prepare food from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and green color pigment called chlorophyll. Water is absorbed from the soil by the roots while carbon dioxide is taken in from air through small pores present on the surface of the leaves. These pores are called stomata. The energy of sun is captured by chlorophyll. A part of the food made by plants is used for their own survival and growth. The extra food is stored in seeds, leaves, stems, roots, etc. There are some plants which obtain their food by different modes other than photosynthesis. Insectivorous plants Plants which capture insects and digest them are called insectivorous plants. For example, pitcher plant, venus flytrap and sundew. These are green and can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. But they need to capture insects as they grow in soil that is deficient in nitrogen. So to meet their nitrogen nutrition, they capture and digest insects. Pitcher plant A pitcher plant looks like a pitcher with a lid and has hair inside its body which point downwards. Its cavity is filled with sweet smelling nectar that attracts the insects towards it. Once the insect is inside, the lid closes, the insects get entangled in the hair and is unable to escape. Then the pitcher secretes juices and the insect is digested. Venus flytrap plant The leaves of these plants consist of lobes. They also have short hair on their inner surface. When an insect touches the hair of the leaves, the two lobes snap shut trapping insect. Sundew plant The hair present on the leaves of the sundew plant have a sticky liquid on them. The liquid shines in the gleam of the sun, thereby attracting insects. As the insects sit on the plant, it gets trapped by the sticky liquid by curling of hair. The hair bends towards the center and the insect is killed. Parasitic plant Some plants like cascuta are leafless and rootless. Hence, they are unable to make food. So, they depend on other plants for their nutrition. These plants are called parasitic plants. The plant on which a parasitic plant grows and derives its nutrition is called the host. Now let's recall. Green plants are autotrophs or producers because they make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Leaves of green plants prepare food using simple raw materials like carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. A part of the food made by the plants is used for their survival and growth. The extra food is stored in different parts of the plants such as the seeds, stem, leaves, roots, fruits, etc. Insectivorous plants capture insects and digest them, for example sundew plant. Parasitic plants like cascuta depend on host plant for their food.